Alright guys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play uh, The Legend of Heroes So where we left off, um, we were going to start investigating um, A robbery happened down here uh, In the lower district here um, they, they robbed the Orble and the arms dealers So we're going to see what we can maybe find out I don't, I don't think we're going to probably find out much But I'll talk to everyone My factory, all my goods, they're gone They seen the ledger being a world of her. Okay, yeah. Info. What about you? Damn it! My shop got ripped off by a bunch of thieving criminals, and they took off with every last one of my pricey goods too. What does that have to happen to me? I don't know. I do not know. I'm sorry. Um. Okay. We just gotta talk to everyone around this area. I'm skipping through the talkie talks a bit because um, it's not really super relevant bet from uh, between the NPC character people of the like the regular town people. You know, they're just kind of scared. And this guy won't let us talk to anyone because um, the army's forbidding it, pretty much. Sorry, I didn't mean to go that way, Scara. <sighs> All right. Uh, who do we talk to? Who, who, uh, who haven't we talked to? Yeah, yeah. screw you. Did we go to these side houses here? No, we didn't. Eh. Haven't we talked to everyone? Oh, we haven't talked to the guys in the shops, I think, right? No, no, we have. Never mind. What about upstairs? Oh, hey! Yay! This one turned out really cute! Nile, is this how you wanted this one? Yeah, sure. Something like that. However, we really got screwed, you know that? Hmm? Good afternoon. Are you working on another story? Looks like you two are on the trail of a scoop again. Hey, it's you kids! Oh, it's Stell and Joshua! Boy, am I glad to see that they let you out of the clinker! Yeah. I heard all about you kids getting arrested by the army up at the old mine. You certainly had me worried. Why are you acting like you had nothing to do with it? It was your info that led us into the village. Hey now, what kind of face is that? Don't tell me you blame us. Did you go and check out the abandoned mine yourselves? Yeah, we did yesterday. But it was after you all had already been hauled off. We could have had a really great shot of your arrest had we been there. It really guts me that we missed such a perfect opportunity for a great shot. I, I swear you people in the news business. But anyway, I was wondering if you thought this looked like the handiwork of the Sky Bandit. But anyway, I was wondering if you thought this looked like the handiwork of the Sky Bandits. It sure looks that way to me. It seems that the army is sniffing around for clues too. But to be honest, Looks like there's nothing to be found here anymore. I see. That does make things a bit more difficult. Well, Mr. Reporter, why don't you let me ask you this then? Do you know from whence the Sky Bandits entered town? According to witness statements, they were seen leaving through the West Gate. Hmm, well that's awfully strange. The mayor's residence and the Bulls Market are right through the West Gate. And it seems like attacking those two places would be far more lucrative. When you put it that way, that makes a lot of sense. But if you don't mind me asking, who the heck are you? Ha! Huh, I'm glad you asked. I'm Olivia Lenheim, a wandering bard and gifted musician. I'm 
sure you've heard the rumors about me, right? All right, you're the guy who drank wine without paying at that classy restaurant. Takes guts to stiff such a big bill. It's an honor to meet you, sir. <laughs> you're making me blush. I'm ready for my interview. Empty time. So don't hesitate to ask. Wow, really? I'm getting a headache just listening to this crap. I feel it too, Estelle. <laughs> These two are very much alike. I'm not even going to ask how this guy wound up with the rest of you. That would be for the best. <laughs> Alright, that should do it, I guess. Hey, you there! What? Something wrong? I thought I'd give you a word of advice. Even if you are representing the mayor at the end of the day, you are still all still civilians. We cannot have you wandering around here in the middle of our investigation. Who do you think you're talking to? Your advice seems rather more like a threat. I'm just saying, you need to know your place. But if you're so adamant about investigating the matter, then do it after we've cleared out of here. If we get any more trouble out of you, then I'm going to have to give you a personal invitation to jail. Forget about it, Estelle. There's no use arguing with these gentlemen. Ha! <laughs> For an ass in the lion's skin, you sure know how to throw your weight around, Mr. Soldier. <laughs> uh, burn! Olivia, nice. What did you say? Mask, what's going on here? Oh, they look official. C Colonel! For a soldier in the pr prestigious Royal Army to be threatening our good citizens. That is an outright embarrassment to us all. B but these aren't just civilians, sir. Th they're members of the Braithor Guild. Oh, is that so? Then I ask you once again, what is going on here? The army is supposed to be working closely with the guild. What do you intend to accomplish by being rude to our allies? B but as far as the general is concerned... Ah, uh, yes. That side of the general really concerns me. I'll take over the investigation from here, so please, take your men and clear up. B but sir... Your men have been here since early this morning, so I presume that a sufficient investigation has been conducted by now, yes? I'll smooth things over with the general later. Is there anything else you wished me to address? No, sir. All right, men. Pack it up. We're returning to the Hawking Gate. It looks like that's that. It seems that some of our personnel were rather impolite. Please allow me to apologize. I appreciate the jester. But we made some slightly inflammatory remarks as well. So how about we let bygones be bygones? That suits me just fine. As I st stated before, the army is supposed to be working closely with the guild. I think our two organizations working together grants us each the ability to make up for the other's shortcomings. I'm looking forward to any progress you make with the re recent series of events. <laughs> we'll do our best not to disappoint you. He seems like a decent guy. Yeah, I wonder who he is. Colonel! Colonel! It's almost the appointed time. Oh, already? Excuse me, but it, it appears I must take my leave. Oh, but before I do, it looks like I haven't int properly introduced myself. I'm Alan Richard, a colonel in the Royal Army. If there's anything I can do to assist you, Please don't hesitate to contact me. It's some very, like, prestigious music there. Colonel Richard. I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. Niall was the one who mentioned his name earlier. He says something about him being a sharp young officer who leads the Royal Army's intelligence division. Oh, right. Wow, for someone in the military, he sure knows how to listen to others. Hmm. <laughs> Probably in his mid-thirties, and he's not hard on the eyes, either. He seems like he's more fit to be a politician than a service member in the army. Hey, you guys! Who was that you were just talking to in the black uniform? I could swear I've seen him somewhere before. Are you trying to tell me you didn't recognize him at all? That was Colonel Richard, of the Intelligent Division. You know, the guy you mentioned earlier? 
What? You're not pulling my leg, are you? As fun as that would be? Nope. He said so himself, so I'm fairly confident. He is who he, say he says he is. To think that the legend himself would show up here. We can't wait around here like this any longer, Dorothy. Let's see if we can catch up to him. Aye, aye, sir. Although I'm really not sure why we're chasing after anyone. Did you see his eyes light up? I wonder if he's going to do an interview or something. <laughs> anyone else in the army would brush him off, but I'm sure the colonel will apply to him. Hmm. What's the matter with you, Olivia? You look serious, and I gotta say, I find it creepy coming from you. I was just thinking about the colonel. I'll be the first to admit that he's quite the specimen of a man. But... But what? I can say with confidence that he doesn't stand a chance against me when it comes to the ladies. But I'd like to see him try just a little harder. It's no fun without a romantic rival. Mm, you just had to ask, didn't you, Joshua? I'll regret it for the rest of my life. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. Now that the soldiers are gone, how about we resume our own investigation? Let's start by talking to all the people we couldn't talk to earlier. Good idea. Alright. So we'll start on this end. Work our way to the other side. Alright guys, so I um I conducted my investigation. We learned that um someone likes to fish a lot. <laughs> and um apparently um there there was word of um a strange bunch uh staying down here at uh near Valeria Lake um in the end. So we came down here to figure out who that was and see if we can find any other clues. So this is the north shore of Valeria Lake, huh? It certainly seems peaceful and quiet around here. The end doesn't look too shabby either. I stayed here once before when I was in the area on another job. The wine's great, the rooms are nice, pretty much what you'd expect from a place like this. Too bad this isn't a pleasure trip. You mean it's not? I at least intend to toss my cares to the wind for a while. Take catnaps in a rocking boat by day and filling my belly with food and wine by night. Heaven, this is what a vacation is all about. <laughs> Come on everyone, I was just jo joking. We can enjoy a vacation anytime, but now is the only time we can enjoy taking care of some would-be thieves. Even I, Olivia Lenheim, know enough to get my priorities straight. I don't think this has anything to do with enjoyment or not. <laughs> well, whatever. As long as he does his share of the work, he's here to do. Let's see if we can find the old man staying here that loves fishing. The guest who said he saw some suspicious individuals here two nights ago, right? Yep. Uh, we gotta question him. Let's see if he's around here. Old man who loves fishing. I should actually stay here so I can heal up. Wow, 80 gold. Ends get more and more expensive for sure. Old man who loves fishing. Hello. Welcome to the Kingfisher Inn. Are you all here to stay? Let's see. Yes and no. How should I put it? We're here looking for a certain someone. Is there a guest staying here who loves to fish? Well, pretty much everybody who stays here loves to fish. We heard he was a friend of the old man who stayed here yesterday. Do you have a clue who that might be? Oh, are you talking about old man Kuano? If you're talking about his fishing bu buddy, then I think you must mean Lloyd. Lloyd? I've heard he's a professional angler who came all the way here from the Royal City. Seems as though he's a member of the Fisherman's Guild here. There. He sounds like a pretty amazing guy. Do you know where we might be able to find him? <laughs> he's out dropping a line somewhere, of course. If I remember right, he should be uh, out on the back pier. Thank you.
Um, I don't, I don't see him. Uh, did you lie to me, sir? Oh, okay. I didn't know that this was here. Um, excuse me? Are you the man named Lloyd, who's from the Royal City? Wow, he's really focused. He's tuned everything out of his mind but fishing. It looks like this is where my skills come into play. What are you... Just sit back and enjoy. Olivier leaned over and with a smile that left all kinds of things up to interpretation blew into the man's ear. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, what in the... Who are you, kid? And where did you come from? That was a dirty trick to play on him, Olivier. Yeah, that was pretty low. How do you do this evening, good sir? We tried calling out to you a moment ago, but we could see that, like a true professional, your attention was fixed upon your task. You're lured, aren't you? Yeah, that, that's right. But how did you know my name? We heard from a certain old man about you. Do you have some time you could spare to speak with us? I see, so... You heard from Mr. Kuano, did you? Yeah, I saw that strange pair about two nights ago. I knew it. Could we get you to fill us in a little more on the details? Before that, uh, are you all uh, bracers or something? Is this somehow related to some sort of crime? We can't say for sure, but there does appear to be a possibility. N gotcha. In that case, I'll do what I can to help you out. It was the other night, when I was out fishing on my boat. I was returning to the inn dead tired after a day of battling it out with the master of this lake. It had gotten late into the night and it was about the time when everyone at the inn, the inn were asleep. Now hold on a minute. What do you mean by the master of this lake? I'm glad you asked. The master is a giant salmon that swims the murky depths of Valer Valeria Lake. It has been the feared king of the waters among fishing lovers for over a decade. Crap, I shouldn't have asked. It looks like you've thrown a log into the maniac's fire. Is it really that huge of a fish like you say? You bet your last mirror it is. And I've been chasing the darn thing for the last five years of my life. It comes and goes in different parts of Valeria Lake and changes its feeding spots on a whim. I heard from a buddy of mine that it has appeared in these parts, so I came a-running from the Royal City. Ha! <laughs> now that's what they call passion. I can completely understand where you're coming from. Whenever I find something I like, I stop at nothing until I get hold of it. For example, a bottle of Grand Chardonnay and such. In your case, still, it is more accurate. <coughs> how about... <coughs> how about we get back to our story? So, Lloyd, what happened when you came back from fishing that night? Oh, right. I had returned the boat and was on my way into the inn when I saw an odd couple head out onto the road from the grounds bef behind the building. Onto the road? In the middle of the night? Yep, no doubt about it. They headed out on the New Ansel Path. At first I thought they were go a group of people visiting from the city heading back home. But it was way too late for something like that. When I asked at the inn the next day, nobody knew a thing about it. Thought maybe I'd seen a couple of ghosts or something. G ghosts? There are ghosts that come out here? <laughs> Just so you know, the two I saw were a young couple. They might have been two lost souls who committed a double suicide after not being accepted by those around them. Yeah, anyway, d d don't tell me anymore. Oh, brother. A bracer that's afraid of ghosts. The guild is doomed. Not to mention her habit of always wanting to hear more ghost stories and other bizarre stuff. <laughs> Well, isn't your being scared attractive in its own right, Estelle? Not sexy, but cute nonetheless. Like a little kitten shivering in the cold. You'd better watch out because this little kitten bites. <laughs> well, I was just kidding about the ghost part. But the couple did in fact seem to be one with a purpose and reason. I say this because the girl was wearing some rather odd clothing. What do you mean by that? I only saw her from behind, so I couldn't say for sure, but it looked like to me like she was wearing some kind of school uniform. A school uniform? 
It couldn't be. It wasn't one from the Genus Royal Academy, was it? Wow, you really know your stuff, kid. You betcha, my niece goes there as well. And it looked exactly the same as the one she wears. I see. This whole event just got a lot more interesting. It's her, I know it's that lying tomboy for sure. We're finally onto her trail. What? So she's an acquaintance of yours? And while you're at it, tell the two of them not to fret and rush into anything. They'll regret later on. My mind isn't failing me. I could have sworn they said something about coming again about tonight. Is that true? Yep. We'll meet back here in two days, is what the young man said. His tone seemed rather serious, so I couldn't help but think on it. Well, that's understandable. We appreciate the valuable information. Just leave the rest up to us. We won't let them get into any more trouble than they already are. Oh, I see. That's a relief to hear. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders now. Now that that is off my chest, I feel like taking a boat out and fishing again. Well, there's no time to lose. I'll leave you youngins to your work. Bye, fisherman. Man, I don't even measure up when it comes to that fishing nut. He mentioned something about a fisherman's guild, too. I wonder what kind of group that is. So how is this couple involved with the missing airliner incident, exactly? If you don't mind telling me that is. Well, in a nutshell. I see. That seems to be the person in question, alright. Which means that tonight is the night, huh? Yeah. It looks like we should probably get a room, just in case. We're going to be in for a late night tonight. Alright, let's go ask the receptionist about a room. Stake out! I would like to rest. Okay, never mind. I was just like a room. Will you be staying here with us tonight? Yep, that's the plan. Hold on, Estelle. If there's anything that we haven't taken care of, we better do it now. I don't want to head back to Boast after we've gotten a room. Um, I guess you're right. Nah, we're getting a room. Cigarette. There's one mission I missed, but... I... I can't do it. I... It's... No. Please come with me. I'll show you to your room. I've done as much as I think i like to. This is where you'll be staying. I will leave you here, so please relax until dinner is served. This is quite a nice room. It has a certain atmosphere that you just don't find back in the city. Yeah, it's great, huh? It wasn't that expensive, either. <laughs> what to do now? How about we relax until it gets dark? What a nice idea! I'd be more than happy to do just that, but is it really okay to take it easy? Rest when you can. That's part of a bracer's job, too. This is our free time, so let's enjoy a meal, take a stroll, or something else. Wow, what a picturesque view. The entire lake looks like it's glowing. Too bad we can't see the royal city on the opposite shore because of the haze. But from here, it's easy to tell that this is the biggest lake in the kingdom. This lake is like a fisher's, fisher's dream come true. I bet it'd be a blast to throw a line in those waters. Then how about it? It might be a nice change of pace for you. Yeah, maybe I will. What are you going to do, Joshua? Me? Um, let's see. There's a book I've been meaning to read, so maybe I'll just sit in that chair and relax. How old are you again? Only geezers talk about sitting back and relaxing. Young boys are supposed to get out and move their bodies. <laughs> I'll leave that part to you. <laughs> Tis, sometimes you can be such a drag. Oh well, I should hurry up and decide on a fishing spot. Hmm, somewhere around that pier looks like it might be a lucky spot for a bite. Alright. Um. Where's the rods at? Wasn't there a place I could grab rods though, to begin with? Like, how do I grab fishing rods? I want to fish. Fishing rod. What are you guys doing? Scare's on. Another of you are having a drink. Scare, should you start drinking again when it's only noon? No matter how light the liquor is, drinking too much is bad for your health, alright? Don't worry, this stuff is just like water. Uh, still, 
Sometimes we all need to take a breather. I understand your concern for Skera, but you can leave her to me. Actually, Skera's not the one I'm concerned about. <laughs> You're not gonna end up well, buddy. Just saying. Alright. How do I do it, though? Oh, okay. Yes! This looks good! Definitely the best spot! <laughs> now let's see about casting a few lines. Start fishing? Crap, I don't have a fishing pole. I wonder if somebody at the end has a spare. I can borrow. Um, do you have a fishing pole I could borrow? Mm, yes, of course do I do. That's right over here. And they're free to use for anyone lodging here. Wow, really? Score? Score! Hmm, this is a pretty nice route to be going out to everyone. Alright then, I'll put it to good use. Please enjoy yourself. Fishing! Uh, this way, right? No? Yes, this looks like a good spot. Yep. Let's do it! Cast that rod, Estelle. Let's see, from this pier, which would be the best place to drop a line? To the west, to the south, where the sun is hitting the water, to the east where the shade The shade reaches. Let's try... To the east. Maybe. Right around here looks nice. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishies. Now what should I do about bait? I don't really even know. Let's use live bait. Alright, let's sit back and relax and see what we can come up with. <laughs> Chilling out fishing. Oh, sweet! I got a bite! Now this is the critical part. How should I bring it up? Reel it in all at once. Wait a bit before reeling it in. Wait a bit before reeling it in. Alright, let's see what we got. Rainbow trout. Now this is quite a catch. Let's see, what should I do now? Oh, continue fishing. Change fishing spot. to the south. Just throw it out. There. Let's use a fly. Fishing, 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 fishing. Wait a bit. Holy boots! <laughs> Lore. around but we'll switch the fishing spot I actually picked the wrong one I think Lots of boots. Yeah. We'll go that way. I 
then we'll end the fishy fishing. Tiger Rockfish. Alright, I'll quit there. Caught a tiger fish and a rainbow one. Maybe it's already starting to get dark. I guess I ended up with a pretty good catch after all. Check this out, Joshua. Look what I caught. Huh? He's gone. Joshua? What's this? Hundred Days Wars. I wonder if Joshua just forgot this. For being so sharp, he sure can miss things sometimes. Guess I'll just have to take it to him. Then again, I wonder where he could have taken off to. Hey there, laddie! What are you doing whittling away the evening in a place like this? <laughs> not much. How about yourself? Are you done fishing? Or are you heading back into battle? No, I've already had my fill. Sure has been a while since I did, though. Oh, that reminds me. You said you were going to read, but you ended up leaving your book on the table. You should be more careful with your stuff. Oh, that. I actually finished reading it. My eyes were starting to feel a bit tired, so I thought I'd take a walk for a change. Liar. W what? You're hiding your feelings again, aren't you? I can tell that's what you're doing. And besides, that's not really fair. You always find a way to cheer me up when I'm feeling down. And while I may not be as reliable as Dad, I can still give you a shoulder to lean on. Sorry. It's times like these when you should say thank you, not apologize. You may be smart, Joshua, but sometimes you don't seem to know what's most important. <laughs> You're probably right. Thanks, Estelle. Very good. Now that wasn't too bad, was it? Oh, right. And in return, how about you play me a song? As you wish. Is the whereabouts of light good for you? Yep, that's the one I wanted to hear. I love this song. Everybody hears it. <laughs> I wonder why it is that when I hear the sound of your harmonica in the evening light like this, it makes me want to cry. So you're still not going to ask about my past, I mean? So you're still not going to ask about my past, I mean? We promised, remember? You were going to tell me when you felt like it, and I wasn't going to ask, right? And considering that five years have passed, doesn't seem like such a big deal anymore. Yeah, it has been five years, hasn't it? How can you just live with me for that long and not have a million questions? That day your father came home with this beat-up kid. Some random stranger who never says a word about his past. Why'd you take him in like that? Well... It seemed like the obvious thing to do. Not really, but I don't know. Besides, you're family now, Joshua. And like I said before, I know you pretty well. You love books, you're a weapon geek. 
And you've got a serious knack for just about anything that comes your way. You're kind of and you're kind and fair, but you've also got a way of not letting others inside by using politeness like a shield. N now wait a minute. And you're caring and lonely. Of course, I don't know everything about your past. If you want to make comparisons, I don't know a whole lot about Dad's past either. But it doesn't mean that he and I aren't family, right? Being a family for us has more to do with me knowing his personality, his habits, the food he likes. You know, the kinds of things that only I know firsthand. And you're no different, Joshua. You make it nearly impossible to argue with you, you know that? It's been like that since the first time we met. And you gave me that flying kick to the gut as I was lying in bed, wounded, I might add. <laughs> um, did, did I really do that? Yeah, injured and all. More than once. <laughs> I'm sure it was just a bit of child display. Uh, blame Dad for my lack of social graces. Yeah, sure. Nice excuse. But anyway, if so. But, let's make sure we solve this whole airliner mystery. I don't know if Dad's been captured or anything, but let's resolve this with our own hands. Sure. That's exactly what I intend to do. <laughs> How about we head back to the inn? I'm sure supper is ready by now. Great idea. I'm starving. We need to eat our fill so we're ready for tonight. Alright. We got Joshua back. Do, do. That was a nice touching moment. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your book, Joshua. Oh, right. I'm actually done with it. And at this point, it just ended up being bulk weight. I wonder what I should do with it. It looks like a pretty difficult book, but do you think if I spent some time with it, I'd understand? I'm sure he'd be fine. There's already a lot of stuff you know in there anyway. So you want to take a stab at it, Estelle? Sure, I'll give it a shot. Why not? Can I actually read that? I can. Uh. Huh. Ten pages in a book, though. I wish that was like most books. Wow, he's dead. Uh, help a fellow out. I'm begging you. I, I can't take another drink. Wow, I think I've just re reconsidered my opinion of you, Olivia. It's pretty rare for anyone to still be conscious after a night of wine with Scara. <laughs> well, didn't the two of you come at a good time? How about having a drink together? You're both good for that, right? We're going to eat dinner now, so the answer is no. Come on, you do. When I say let's drink, we drink. You're going to make me very angry if you don't sit down for a glass with me. Oh, great. She's already reached stage two. Rage mode. Don't worry, Scara. Olivia said he's good for another couple rounds. How about having him keep you company? <laughs> Disc. What? So you can still drink more, can you? Yuck! J Joshua! How could you just give me to her like that? I can't. I can't. Don't you feel sorry for the poor guy? I don't know. Should I? <laughs> You're like a little demon and cute at the same time, too. <laughs> at least the fish are polite to you. Nah, I guess he'll be just fine. How about we sit at the counter? I'd hate to bother the two of them. Right, good idea. Please, Skatta, I'm bleeding with you. You and the fish don't pour me another glass. <laughs> no.
So by couple they mean it's the top bird chick and that guy. Oh, he's out. <laughs> oh, 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 he's totally plastered. Looks like even a guy who takes his sweet time for everything couldn't stand up to a drunken scare. Oh, wow, what a night of drinking. I've been so busy lately, I haven't been able to enjoy myself like this for a while. And you're not even red in the face either, from all that alcohol. Are you sure you haven't had some special kind of training, Scara? Um, it could have been all the bizarre liquors I drank while I was in the troop. You know, like the ones with scorpions and asps in them. I might have built up my resistance that way, but who knows. Somehow, I don't think that's, that's the case. By the way, what do you plan on doing with him? He's pretty much useless as he is. Let's just let him sleep. He looks so peaceful now, and we wouldn't want to disturb him. There's a very high possibility that we'll have to we'll have a direct encounter with the Sky Bandits. And getting a civilian wrapped up in the middle of it all wouldn't be a good idea. Don't tell me you you got Olivia drunk, so he wouldn't be able to come along, didn't you? Well, of course I did, and he'll thank me in the long run too, after his raging hangover anyway. And so that whole time, you were just toying with him, weren't you? Let's see. It's getting late. Let's hurry and begin our stakeout around the inn. Don't skirt around the issue, Scara. Quiet, you. For the time being, we're going to the circle up to the far pier. Understood. Alright then, let's go. Poor Olivia. Oh, wrong room. Um, I don't see anyone. I don't know what kind of business those siblings could have here, but do you think they'll really show up? There's no guarantee, of course. But if Lloyd's information has any truth to it, my best guess is that they'll be here. However, if we move around too much, there's the possibility we'll be seen and they'll take off. Since the Sky Bandits are supposed to come from the road, it might be a good idea to watch the area. Right, so where should we watch from? We need a place where we can see the road without being noticed ourselves. A place like that would be ideal. Ideal. Alright. So the road is here. The balcony. The balcony. It should do. Looks like they came. Well... Looks like we're a little early, huh? Yeah, seems that way. You know, if this were the middle of the day, we could have gotten ourselves a bite to eat on the way. Quit talking nonsense. We're outlaws, remember? Now let's hurry up and get moving. Nah, away from me, Kyle. should have known it'd be them. Looks like they're headed for the far pier. I wonder what they intend to do. Shall we take a look and find out? Let's try to get as close as we can without being noticed. Let's do it. I should've figured they wouldn't be here yet. They always come exactly on time. I really hate those guys. They act like they're so superior, and to be honest, they're kinda scary. No doubt about it. They are quite the clandestine... clandestine... bunch. But there's not much we can do about it. This is an order from the Don. This seems to be a good place. Yeah, we can hear every word they're saying, too. Hey, Kyle. Don't you think Don's been acting a bit strange recently? It's just not like him. If you ask me, you know, the whole hijacking of airliners thing? Well, I admit, it was lucrative. Now we've got the army clamping down on us full scale. Not to mention those annoying braces are now involved. 
and he's gone and taken hostages and demanded a ransom in return. No matter how I think about it, it seems like Don has gone way overboard this time. In the end, you'll always be just a girl. Deep down, you're just not cut out to run with the bad crowd. Excuse me? Okay, maybe not the best wording, but I meant it as a compliment. Things are getting too tough for you. You're always welcome to try salvaging a life back home. It shouldn't be too hard to get by as long as you don't set your sights too high. Although admittedly, it is a bit colder than liberal. Do, do you think you can just treat me like a kid and I'm not going to get angry? I'd like to see you get by without me. What with your crap cooking and all not to mention the laundry. Do you really want to go back to burnt toast and turning your underwear inside out? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I see your point. And I really am sick of toast, Bert, or otherwise. But anyway, think about what I said before it gets too late to back out. Now, getting back to what you said earlier, I do have to agree that Don has been acting pretty weird. Does he expect us to just keep fishing for ransom? We should take what we can and get. We, get, we should take what we can get. And I'd like to believe that Don is smart enough to see that. Don't you think he's starting that he started acting strange about the time that guy showed up? That's the only thing I can think of as to why he's starting that acting like that. Yeah, he was the one who introduced us to those other guys too. He might have even gotten Don to buy into his ideas. Who's that guy and he? Hmm. That's certainly a good question. Huh? What's that over there? What's what? It looks like whoever it was they were waiting for finally showed up. Look at them. Black armored soldiers. Looks like you made it. Dawn time as usual, huh? Hmm. You could have come a little early for a change. Or even late. Definitely not my type, that's for sure. Say what you will, but we're trained to be punctual. Now if that displeases you, then let me offer my sincerest apology. R relax, I was just being sarcastic. Now I know you guys are definitely not the type I want to be around. Enough already, we don't have time for that. Now, how about we get down to business? Have there been any other developments since last time? Yes, in fact. Her Majesty has finally made a move. She intends to contribute to the ransom from her own assets. S seriously? We're going to get paid out of the Queen's own pocket? I guess we're pretty close to getting the money then, right? How about the Royal Army? Is there any indication that they've figured out where our hideout is? Not yet, but it only it's only a matter of time until they do. We've received reports that members of the Brazier Guild are on the move as well. At any rate, on the morning of the payoff, you'll need to leave your hideout behind. Yeah, no problem there. We just happened to run into the temporary shelter by chance. Don shouldn't have any regrets about it either. <sighs> there are way too many suspicious types involved in this. What do you want to do, Scara? Should we just storm in, shoot them all, let Ideo sort them out? Hmm, I've got a much better idea. A better idea? These two siblings appear appearing here means that the Sky Bandit's airship is parked somewhere nearby. There's not much we could do if they got away again. So how about we try taking that out first? I see. Take away their means of escape, right? I'm down for that. How about you, Joshua? Joshua? Oh, right. Take out the airship first, right? Yeah, I think it's a good idea too. What's wrong? Your face looks really tense all of a sudden. It's nothing. Yeah, I'm sure it's just my mind playing tricks on me. We don't have much time. We've got to get out onto the road and start looking for that air sh airship before they finish their meeting. Alright, let's do it. Ah, oh, there it is. So they're parked in front of the Amberl Tower, huh? This is definitely the perfect place to land since it's off the main road. 
Isn't the Ambrel Tower supposed to be just like the Asmelis Tower? Yeah. It's one of the ancient ruins referred to as a tetracyclic tower. So what do you want to do, Scara? Should we subdue them? Hmm. That's one way to go about things. But there's more than double their numbers since the last time we encountered them. Don't worry. Even with twice as many guys, there's no, they're no match for us. So how about we take them all on at once? Hmm. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's the best way to go about things. Oh, no, that's him. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Uh, uh, Ale! Keep it down or they're going to hear you. Well, isn't this a surprise? I can't believe you're standing there after the state you were in before your tolerance is impressive. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Rather than miss a minute of your fair company, I dutifully puked my guts up and dumped a bucket of cold water over my head. Voila! I was good to go. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think I hear your liver screaming somewhere in there. That's some serious tenacity. Come on, I couldn't let you enjoy all the fun yourselves, right? I had just come out of the inn when I saw you guys hit the road, so I came running from behind to catch up with you. I guess I went a little too easy on you. Maybe I should have had you down all that brandy at once. <laughs> You'd have put me to sleep for good if you'd done that, Skera. But anyway, fighting the Sky Bandits here would lack finesse, don't you think? I don't think that's the issue here. No, I'm serious. Even if you subdued them all and managed to arrest the two siblings, there's still a chance they won't tell you where their hideout is. And they might even use the hostages as leverage to demand their release. Well, there's a risk involved with whatever course of action we take. Or do you have a good plan on how we can avoid taking such a risk? <laughs> Boy, do I ever. Listen up, everyone. Okay. But if you blow in my ear, I'm seriously going to punch your eyes out. <laughs> He'd much rather probably blow in Scarra's ear, but okay. Kyle! Josette! Good to see you made it back. I didn't think you'd be gone so long. So, talks took longer than expected, huh? Yeah. But we're nearing an end with our negotiations. We also managed to get a great deal of information about what's going on with the Royal Army. So what you're saying is... Yep. We'll be getting the ransom money within a few days. We'll finally be one step closer to making our dreams a reality. We did it! Sweet! Cool it down, guys. It's a little too early to be getting excited. For the moment, we need to get back to the hideout and report to Don. Alright, everyone. Pack up and let's get out of here. Roger that, roger that, roger that, roger that. We're gonna stow away on their ship, aren't we? The temperature outside is 69.8 degrees with 15% humidity. There is a south-southwest wind blowing at a speed of 12 arch. There are no orbital reactions in the surrounding areas. Looks like the army isn't patrolling here. Activate the orbital energy, the orbital engine, and begin transmitting orbital energy to each section of the airship. Aye, sir. Orbital engine activated. Transmission of orbital energy to all sections underway. Orbital filter started. Orbital driver started. Stabilizers all green. <laughs> all right. Lift off. Aye, aye, sir. Set the drive rate to 40% and maintain cruising speed. However, make sure that we can switch to battle speed at any time. Aye, sir. Looks like we'll make it back before morning. Yeah. I'm ready for some serious shut-eye myself, but I've got to report to Dawn first. <laughs> uh-huh. Did you just hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. That's odd. I could have sworn it came from below deck. <laughs> Look at us down in the corner there. Maybe it's just a mouse or something. I'll have to clean up the place when I can find some free sp time. Yeah. 
It is Nebo Valley, isn't it? I think. Looks like it, at least. Is this, is this the hideout? Where are we at? Oh, boy, I'm all tired. Ever since we came here, my night and day has been completely reversed. You just got to tough things out a little longer. And then we can say goodbye to this horrible life. With Don as our leader, we can't go wrong. But don't you think Don's been acting a little strange? I mean, he's kind of scary. How about you knock that crap off? If Kyle or Jessetta heard you talking like that, they'd beat you upside the head. But, but, but it's just that... I'm sure you're just tired from lack of sleep. Let's hurry and finish up here and get some rest. You're welcome to take a rest now, if you'd like. <laughs> oh, you, you're those... You're too late. Preemptive strike. <laughs> That's cool that they actually give us a preemptive strike when we surprise them for like a preemptive strike. But yeah. One down. Quick draw. He didn't die from that. Come on. Ah, he missed. Ow. It looks like we were able to get in here without any trouble. I'm amazed that this little plan actually worked. I guess we all have you to thank this time. But seriously, I was getting pretty nervous. I wasn't sure what we were going to do if we got caught stowing away. Well, even if we were discovered, we'd just have to take control of the airship. And we would have had an advantage fighting against this lot in those tight quarters. Superior numbers mean nothing without space to maneuver in. Olivier. So you thought that far ahead, taking all of these factors into account, huh? Not in a million years! Are you kidding? I simply thought it would be fun to infiltrate an enemy base. <laughs> I think we would have been better off if you said nothing at all. Give the poor guy a break. At least we were, able to, we were able to get in here without incident. Anyway, this looks like somewhere in the Nebel Valley. The Nebel Valley? Like the one in the border of Bose and Roland? But that explains why it's so misty outside. And this is definitely terrain covered with extreme differences in height which prevent the landing of any large aircraft. It looks like your guess was right, Skira. Yeah, well it didn't seem to help us much in getting here. But anyhow, we don't have time to be hanging around here. We need to subdue the Sky Bandits and ensure the safety of the hostages being held captive. And of course your father, Cassius, too. Right. Underst understood. We can we can let you just go back. Okay. Monsters. How much you gave us experience wise? Cause if we get a good amount of experience, I'm gonna end it here and just level as best I can. All depends on the experience, though. Oh no! Why I? 